Hey everybody, this is Alessandro. Welcome back to my channel. So this is the second part of uh, this tutorial, okay? And I decided to focus mostly in polishing and some of the of the blocking, some of the poses. As you remember, guys, last time, um, you know, we did like a very rough blocking just to have the overall flow. But now it's uh, it's good and important to refine some of those poses. And I focus on this part here, kind of the anticipation and the jump and the smash. I think was definitely more interesting and as you can see by my ugly drawing guys I wanted to push some of those poses adjust the line of action here okay and uh, yes that's what I want to do with you today and uh, you know let's start from the beginning first thing I'm gonna do now it's having a, a small breakdown here okay this is because it's kind of the anticipation okay it's, uh, it's actually the down position and I want to improve this pose over here. So as usual, guys, I will lower the uh, the foot. Okay, going forward with the body. Okay, let's adjust this. First thing I'm gonna do, guys, try to have a nice um, silhouette on the leg, okay? Because I want them to kind of overlap a little bit. And as you can see from the video reference, there is a bit of compression here. Uh, so. I have to go a little bit lower, okay, and bend the spine. Bend the spine a little bit more. Another thing is you want to do the same with the hip here, okay. Especially when uh, when you're going down, um, the hip tend to go in this kind of direction, okay. And we are gonna start to uh, adjust. Okay, maybe drag a little bit more the, the hand. Okay, when I go through the passing position for the, for the arms, I tend to lower the, the shoulder, okay. And this one I will go here to kind of Make sure I want a nice group silhouette. Okay, I want to kind of group them together here. I think the neck is kind of going forward here, and as you can see, it's very straight up. Maybe a tiny bit forward, okay. I feel like the body is slightly um, too much behind. The cutter is kind of falling, okay. So I'm gonna take this, okay, adjusting a little bit more. And again, I wanna do still adjust a tiny bit the leg. Okay. Maybe here we need to go a bit more forward. Okay. I know it's the character is started to open more like this, the body, okay. Because it's preparing for the you know the jump.
Okay, we'll open up the chest here. And I think I already I did a pretty decent job um, at the beginning, but now it's time to push it a bit more. I really want to see the line of action here. Be nice. And for the foot, I want to make sure it's tracking this way. As you can see now, guys, I'm spending more time now in the um, in the camera view, something I didn't do as much during the uh, my first rough blocking. And the reason is because obviously now I'm really careful about making uh, a pose that lo really looks solid and nice. Okay. So I still go once in a while in, in, in perspective mode, you know, to adjust things. Started to raise it. I tilted the head, the hand here kind of down, but I feel like it's going to be, it needs to start to push forward. And I'll need to adjust the head. Okay, it's important it's still looking up, but I want to have a bit more of, um, since we can see a little bit the eyes, no, pushing. Okay, tilting it up. Okay, I want to bend a little bit the, you know, the knee here. Okay, so we can open this one a bit more and push it a little bit higher okay just to have an, a nice line of action and again you, when you do the line of action you want to continue with the hands you see a nice line here over the shoulder okay and when we do this guys we want to continue with the finger as well, okay? Maybe a bit too much we did it, so it's important to tweak it back. And now the things I want to do is um, Okay, open it up a little bit more. Also, make sure the head is tilted up. Okay, so I think it's definitely stronger. This one needs more work. Okay. First of all, let's start to rotate a little bit the torso. Okay, a bit more. And I want to have a better um, line of action on the shoulder. So as you can see now, the line is broken here, kind of going down. So I want to make sure it's kind of straight line. Okay. Again, we're gonna work on the finger now. This time I wanna put a bit more of detail so I can go a bit more individually.
I want them very nice and straight because give the idea of uh, <clears throat> tension. I'm trying to think about if I can push the hip. Okay. And in general, another quick advice I want to give you not to keep um, uh, things too, too frontal. Okay. And we need to adjust this end as well. Okay, for now we're gonna leave the hands in this position. I think though we can push a tiny bit the shoulder higher. Okay, both of them I would say. Okay, see now the dynamic action is really nice from the, uh, you know, from the two arms, and see how the dynamic action goes from the spine to the leg. Okay, definitely a great improvement. Okay, here I create actually another pose in the middle. And I found that this pose for me was definitely more more interesting. So overall, we're gonna key everything, and I'm gonna I'm gonna look at the arc immediately because. Uh, I want to make sure. Let's make sure it's uh, motion trailer visible. Okay. Actually, no, when you do this, make sure you select multiple controller together. Okay. Make sure you're respecting the arc. You can see there is more movement here. Okay. I think it's much better. We can go and close the I would suggest always to remove the motion trail guys because it really slow down uh, Maya if you leave it there. Okay, now we're gonna turn this. And as usual, guys, I always like, and anytime I do a new pose, I prefer to reset, reset things. Okay. It's still the nice kind of bend behind, but um, we have to be careful. You see, actually, it's breaking a bit too much. Okay.
Uh, here we can start to put this leg down. Okay. Make sure the it doesn't break. And this one straighter because it's, as you can kind of continue in this line of action. Maybe a little bit of bend. Ah, let me go really close. Maybe a little bit more of bend. Okay. And as you can see now, this arm is coming down. So what we need to do is readjust. Let's save as well. Never heard right, guys. Okay, make sure you're twisting it. I'm gonna create a little bit of follow through um, with the hand as well. Okay. In this case, I want to group the finger, all of them together. So it's going to be a really fast movement. And, um, you know, I want them to look nice and clean. So I'm going to reset everything here. And push them up. Okay. Something like this, more or less. Okay, and now we do this one, which is, um, let's start with the going forward, going up, okay. Always reset just to avoid any weird uh, gimbal lock. Let's go even higher, okay? I'm actually, we push it to the opposite direction. Reset everything. Let's take a look at now. Um, it doesn't really work because I want like this kind of line. Maybe we, what we need to do is, uh, I mean, the line of action is nice, just I want this to be more forward. So it means also the upper spine this needs to be <clears throat> forward here. Okay. Um, now we're just this one. And the other action is nice and pretty, you know, just want to make sure it feels, uh, it's actually pushing forward, smashing forward. Uh, okay.
Boom. Boom. See how nice it is. On this one, I want to go back later because now we're kind of changing drastically the, the end. Okay, moving forward, moving forward, guys, we're going to work on this pose over here. Uh, this one, I think, definitely, I want to push a little bit more. And definitely the part that we need to adjust more is definitely the shoulder, okay? But again, we need to be careful then, uh, you know, it doesn't break. Okay. I think we need to reset this one first of all. Okay, it's always important before you start to twist the spine or something, breaking it. Um, you know, make sure you you do something clean. Okay. So go this direction. Okay. Do the best as you can with the uh, root. Okay, adjust this one. Okay, we want to obviously have uh, this shoulder going forward. Okay. And the forearm. And then we push this one here to the back. Right. Obviously, we need to adjust the head now as well. Because of that, things start to look way too broken. Okay. And let's see how much we can push again this arm. Okay, to be careful not not to break things. Okay, well. First, maybe this one, this shoulder, I think, needs to go really forward. Okay, going down a little bit. Maybe this one for now, it's okay. This is something eventually I want to see in motion, I think. Not in, still entirely happy with this, okay? Even this one here, okay? Maybe we can 
open up a bit now and then adjust it later uh, okay okay let's adjust them like here this one Okay, for this one, I will do a second pass on this one. Now, I really want to focus on the key poses. Okay, and as you know, guys, I think this one is more powerful, definitely. Okay. A nice contrast here. I'm still playing a little bit with the upper. Okay. Okay. Very strong contrast. Now again here, this one I want to reset, okay, try not to use any translation at the beginning on the upper spine, I will do only in, um, when I do my polish, in case I want to do some squash stretch, okay. Uh, this one I want to create a nice uh, line of action here. Okay. And I want to have this leg a little bit more behind. Okay. Okay, I don't want to group the leg. You see, I want to remove the negative space here. This one, I will leave it. Uh, I will remove it because I want to go back over there before. Okay, maybe here, just wanna uh, stretch it, like having bigger drag basically on uh, because of the coming down. Okay. And same here because basically I want to hold a bit longer the initial pose that we you know after the smash okay something like this more or less boom okay because it does the smash is it's coming really forward Maybe once once I'll um, I'll do the spline, I will I will see a better way of doing it. Okay, uh, but for now, when I kind of relax,
This one I'm relaxing it, okay? The reason why I'm removing it right now, I'm changing it, I'll give you my thought process is because, see, there is the big contrast here. So I'm kind of relaxing the leg here, okay? Oh. And boom, here it does this little kick behind. Okay. And then here, relax. Boom, landing. Very quickly, I'm going to move this one. Okay, and I'm gonna do the um, this one. I wanna just here, not much honestly on this one, but when you do a landing, okay, you always wanna look for some kind of contrast, okay, um, and because the this previous pose is already kind of leaning forward, okay, we need to work with the line of action, okay. And at the same time, you don't want to go too down with the with the head. Okay. So it feels a bit unbalanced now. Boom. So this one is to stay here. Oh. Okay. Just very quickly. Again, what I want to do here, because the, when the arms are going down, I want to try, try to keep them low. Okay, and this one as well. Also, want to go push um, this as an extreme. Okay. Maybe a tiny bit more forward. Okay. And Let's try to do the same with the other shoulder. Open it up a little bit to avoid penetration there. Okay. And this other one, I need to find a, a good spot you know, for the silhouette. Maybe something like this. Okay. Let me take a look very quickly again. Okay, feels more organic, definitely. The poles are stronger. Okay, let's go one by one. And this coming down here. Okay, preparing for the jump. Jump here. You see how, how reverse is the spine from these two? Okay, it's really nice to study. Jump here, extreme, smashing, and landing. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, so for this tutorial, I'm going to stop here. As you can see, I give like, a, uh, you know, another pass on some of the poses at the beginning, some of them at the end, the, the, the walk at the very end. Okay, guys. And I didn't show that because for me, the most interesting part was definitely uh, you know the, the anticipation the jump the smash and the landing in term of in terms of posing guys so one last uh, advice I would like to give you when when you finally lock down your poses okay when you do a solid blocking guys uh, before you move forward and you start to do the in between what I suggest you to do is always goes to um, spline okay convert your key from step more to spline and just to take a look if there is any gimbal lock issue 
okay? Uh, most of the time you will be able to resolve with the Euler filter. Sometimes you have to just delete some key uh, reports, okay, guys? That's always uh, a good advice before you do the, the in between the blocking plus and so on, okay, guys? I hope you enjoy and see you next time. Ciao, guys.